So these are the, 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 the three stages and the role of the auditor in each of these stages of subsequent event. After the reporting period, the auditor has a role to play in each of these stages. So, the first one, from the end of the audit, I've done the audit. Then, so from this audit period to the date of the audit report, yeah, yeah, audit scenario. From that period up to the data, you have to sign it, audit report, you know. Issues able to me see subsequent events. A CR, what is the role of the auditor? If that you are you, 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 you completed the audit. However, the, the audit report is yet to be dated. If you are saying date of the audit report, it means from the time you sign the report. If there are any subsequent events within that period, the auditor still has some responsibility, even though the audit has been completed. As long as the financial statement has not been published, or as long as the financial statement has not been issued, if there are any issue that the auditor becomes aware from the end of the audit to the date of the audit report, the auditor needs to carry out further audit procedures satisfy itself of that sort of event and decide whether it needs adjustment or disclosure in the financial statements. So for instance, in, in within the, those periods, you know, what we said, there was there was uh, there was misapplication of accounting policy. After you have done the audit tool, after you have done the audit, then later on, you realize that there was a misapplication of accounting policy with respect to inventory. You cannot say that, oh, you, you are done with the audit. So, next year, you consider that. As long as the audit report has not yet been issued, the auditor must still carry out some further audit procedures. If the auditor becomes aware of any such issue, you need to draw management attention and ask them to I mean, amend the financial statement. Because when there is a misapplication of accounting policy on inventory, it will affect the figures. So you may need to tell management to amend the financial statement. If management refuses, you need to inform management that that refusal will have impact on the audit opinion. I mean, if management refuses to, to comply with your directive, you need to inform them that that will have impact on the audit opinion. Either you issue a qualified opinion or you issue an uh, address. So even though you have ended any subsequent event, the auditor must bear some responsibility by carrying out further audit procedures with respect to it is a who can now oh uh, account yeah 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 inventory you yeah, corrected issue now the auditor must still carry out further audit procedures with respect to that inventory and satisfy yourself that indeed that statement has been corrected. If not, then you have to consider its impact on the audit opinion. Now, after the audit report has been signed, and the financial statement has been given to management, after the report has been signed and given to management, but before the financial statements are published. If the auditor becomes aware of any subsequent events 
whether favorable or unfavorable. Here, because the financial statement has been signed and given to management, the auditor will bear some lesser responsibility. Why? Because if you determine any subsequent event that is so material to the financial statement, as long as the financial statement has not been issued, if we say it has been issued, it means that it has been published. As long as the financial statement has not been published, the auditor also has additional responsibility. But it is not so as much as the first one. So in this situation, sometimes you may need to tell management that they, should, they, are, they, are, they are not supposed to issue the report. They shouldn't issue the report because of the issue that you have detected. If management has not issued the report, you need to write to management that they should not issue the report until that issue is resolved. If management refuses and they issue the report, then you, the auditor, you must find a way of informing the public. Either you reissue a new audit opinion. So on what basis will management decide to ignore your instruction? Oh, I see the idea. Especially when they have struggled to balance the account. <laughs> <laughs> when they have struggled to balance the account. And do the auditor to you went through the financial statement, you validated it, you said, oh, everything is okay. Then later on, you said, you have detected some issue. That, that poses a challenge. But still, you, the auditor, you, you carry responsibility to make sure that the right things are done. The financial statement is free of material mistake. So even if it has been signed and given to the client, and you have detected some material misstatement, you need to inform them to correct that misstatement because it has not yet been issued. So they can still correct it. If they refuse to do that, then you need to consider the impact. Either you issue a qualified opinion by adding emphasis of matter paragraph. What can you say? Maybe uh, uh, my question. So, when if they are in, uh, they have been able to balance, it, then they may be forced to do. Uh -huh. But apart from that, on, under what circumstances okay. would they want to rush to? I mean, send the report. Like issue the report. Issue the report. Yeah. Oh, you see, sometimes it, if you have a deadline, they yeah, have You see. Financial statement, your deadline is as soon as we should on the report. Huh? Huh? Especially the public interest uh, or PLCs. Yeah. By end of April, you need to be of financial. It's a year then. Now, what did you want to reach here? Why you be here in a three days? And now, what did you take Say, ah, I I not say so material to the financial statement. And when for mom said, there is an issue that has to be resolved. So they should issue the financial statement. In that case, sometimes management may, may not agree with you. But you, you must still insist. Because why is the sinner who issue that issue by? That, that would be it. The auditors make the test. Yes. So you must insist that they withdraw that uh, sign or the report so that you, you ask them to amend the financial statement. If they refuse, or if they refuse, then what you have to do is that you consider the impact of the report, either by reissuing a new audit opinion. Which Sorry. Emphasis of matter paragraph or other matter paragraph. Okay. Now, so 
we say that the second one, the fact discovered after the deed and before the financial statement, we say that unless the financial statement has been issued, the auditor still carries some degree of responsibility even after the audit report is signed. So that's what I explained. So even after signing the audit report, we still have some responsibility. We still have some responsibility. So if the auditor becomes aware of the facts, that had it been known to him at the date of the report, they have caused him to amend his report, then he must discuss the matter with management. Two, determine whether the financial statement is amended. And three, inquire how management intends to address the matter in the financial statement. So that is what I discussed with you. If management refuses to amend the financial statement for the subsequent event, the auditor should take the following action. One, the auditor should modify his audit opinion. So that is what I said. If management refuses, that's all we know. If the time is too close to the publication date, so Mr. Auditor, this one here, there is no way we can amend it. Then you have to reissue a modified audit report. Or two, if the audit report has been provided to the entity, the auditor should instruct management not to issue the financial statement. So that is what I said. So the auditor must tell management that because of how material that subsequent event is, they should not issue or publish that financial statement. You have to tell them, net oral, written, not issue, until the necessary amendments have been made. If management issues the financial statement after the auditor has instructed them not to issue, the auditor must take appropriate action to prevent reliance on the audit report after taking legal advice. So if after you have told management not to issue, they still go ahead and issue the financial statement, then you need to seek legal advice on that and take further action. Now, the third one, facts discovered after the financial statement has been issued. Now, the financial statement has been published. When you speak a smooth financial statement of this audited account of this PLC for the year ended, this thing, they are published here, but they look like a weird. And they have some material subsequent event. And then, and then, on the other side, Wait one more. What why it one more issue the BA? One more issue financial statement. They are publishing. And there is a subsequent event that, that is material to the financial statement. So here we are saying that similar to the above, the auditor has no obligation to perform audit procedures or make inquiries regarding the financial statement after the issue. However, if the auditor becomes aware of a fact, that had it been known to him at the date of his report, he had forced him to amend his report. Then he should discuss the matter with management. Two, he should determine how the financial statement needs amended. And three, inquire how management intends to address the matter in the financial statement. Now, if the financial statements are amended, the auditor is required to carry out the necessary audit procedures on the amendment. To extend his review of subsequent events up to the date of the new audit report. And three, review the steps taken by management to inform anyone who received the original financial statement and audit report of the situation. So, here, what we are saying that after the, the report has been published and there are some material subsequent events, the auditor must take steps to inform the public. You have to inform because, because there are material issues and if you don't take steps to inform the public about that, you may, you may find yourself wanting. So either you reissue a new audit report with either emphasis of matter paragraph or other matter paragraph 
He said that issue any audit report containing an emphasis of matter paradigm or other matter paradigm, we will consider this when we get to audit reports communication. There should be an explanation by way of notes in the revised financial statement. So the auditor must issue a new financial statement which notes it might be can issue first one with your fund. Let's say it's good sign, we should revise one. And you can work, work revised by the team. Mm -hmm. Because of the issue, you need to issue a revised audit opinion with explanation notes to the public. No matter the reason why. So these are the, 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 the three stages and the role of the auditor in each of these stages of subsequent event. Now let's talk about going concern. Now, going concern is very important in audit. After you have done your audit, you need to assess the going concern status of your client. You need to do that. Because you know, say, you have uh, auditors record for the tick company no, normal certified, oh, they, they are in a good uh, position, uh, they can continue for the foreseeable future. We didn't say smart, it's not company. No. Then people will start raising so many questions. Did the auditors do due diligence? It will not say company no good. And normal certified say company no good. Huh. So, apart from the normal audit, the, the financial system is here, and one of the things you need to do is to review the going concern status of the client. It's very important. Because going concern, you are saying that the organization will continue to exist for the foreseeable future. And there are some indicators that, as an auditor, you must know. And the bit about Ghana town. Hey, there are some indicators that for one, as a mouth, a mouth would be on his head. This can affect the going concern of the entity. In the government sector, we don't mostly assess going concern. What we assess, we call it sustainability of service. But mostly we don't assess going concern because it is believed that government organizations in but what we assess is sustainability of services. Can this organization continue to provide the existing services we are providing to the public? But say the good year. So going concern is very important. Now, now if an entity is not a going concern, there will be significant implication for, for the financial statement. If an entity is not a going concern, all it is are assessing. You know what we said? Entity not a new going concern. I mean, said you or more or more a decan, a can minimum. They can't they may not be able to operate for the foreseeable. When the auditors are able to assess that, this company cannot continue for the foreseeable future. It has some uh, implications for the financial state. One, the distinction between current and non-current assets. The distinction between current and non-current for both assets and liabilities seems to have any meaning. All assets and liabilities become current. So what we are saying is that if there is a going concern challenge, all asset and liabilities become current. Those of you who have studied IFRS 5, then they will assign asset and for sale. Good. Non current asset held for sale and discontinued provision. And on a worker model. Non current asset held for sale and you know that when non-current assets are held for sale, 
for when they are uh, in the discontinued operation, when non current assets are held for sale, do we depreciate the assets? Maybe some more. When non current assets are held for sale, do we provide depreciation on the assets? Do we provide depreciation on the assets? No. Why? And because they have moved from non current to current, because there is a condition. Before you can classify an asset as held for sale, it means that within one year, so because of it means that all non current assets and liabilities become current when there is a going concern challenge. Two, all assets must be coming in a statement of financial position and their realizable value and similarly and now again. Three, there may be additional liabilities. I mean this may be taking liabilities. Now going concern duty of the order, of the directors. In preparing the financial statement, the directors must satisfy themselves that the going concern basis is appropriate. So here, assessment of going concern originally is the duty of the directors, the organization. However, after they have assessed, the auditor must also reassess whether they are going for the same assumption is appropriate in the circumstances. Now, let's talk about events casting doubt over going for the same. There are some, there are some events. Ah, umpa. We all did this one. Say ah, I think it gets me affected. Organization going for the same. They have been grouped into three. We have the financial indicators, we have the operating indicators, and we have the other indicators. What do you think are some of the financial indicators? I bet you are what we say. Can't be the way. And we're going for the same issue. Financial indicators. I think the current liability is very significant. Yes. Or, 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 I can't remember. The liability is more than the asset. It's an indication that there's a going for some challenge. Any other, we also will be able to make up back, up back, up back. Financial indicators is a lot. Yes. One part here, I think, two years ago. Two years ago. It means you have some lives. It means that you are, you are cash trapped. I mean, you are having the big issues, and that is a very concern challenge. Even the what you know, interest, what you mean, yeah. And a interest, a a compound, a compound, a is an indication that you are having a very concern issue. Again, adverse key financial ratios who compete with them are negative. Negative operating cash flow is also an indication. Arrears or discontinuation of dividend. Company need engineering to have dividend for the, for the previous five years. You should have dividend. Yes. Who's so we now we have to have Now, who can have It's just like the government sector. You know, the GBs. You know the GBs. Some of them we are supposed to pay dividend to the government. In the five years, we will pay a dividend to the government. The government business enterprise. To say, to say MBS is I for. I say, if you say, Omo Omo, I say Omo put independent. What my ten months come from consolidated funds? I Omo. Maybe it is a authority for you. Any commission to and maybe it is a metro mass. Metro mass come on. SDC come on. Minerals, minerals commission come on. VIPC. Minerals for minerals for them. VIPC come on. VIPC. 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 Almost, almost, we are doing the same. Ah, taxes on the government, maybe. 
But your government and you need to be about five years, no one year bigger, state housing, almost a country. So it tells you say, going for centrality. If you come on, now going to be about salary square for staff, we are not able to pay. I say, anti patrol, sir, eh? Well, so what can I say? Um, when it's the government sector, we don't say going concern, but it can be the service. Eh? Anti, you know, sir, sustainability of a unit to say, baby, to say, eh? Jerry. Now, you need to pursue sustainability. Because they are they operate with IFRS. Near almost no, can, yeah, so, can, uh, Ghana Railways. Uh, uh -huh. So no, no, uh, Ghana Railway, they are commercial entities. I said they are not uh, yeah, yeah, transform on government government organization no? because um, 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 as independent. Uh, it won't say no, you don't apply IPSAS. If you are auditing railway, you can use it. You use IFRS. All the GBUs, we use IFRS. It won't yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to consider you need to be in terms of sustainability. And you wanna operate for profit. Wanna always see scar direct from the consolidated fund. Every year the IS government will scar like hospitals near it. Omono na they use sustainability. But railway say. Ghana Railway Company Limited, a uh, company that uh, will pay you for profit. And you almost say, no, I think that every year you will pay a dividend to the government. And you will pay a dividend to the government. But you say, you will pay a dividend to the government. Hey, say, we are sure. Say, we are sure. We are sure, 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 we <laughs> okay. Inability to obtain financing for essential new products. It will go say almost fair financing or bank a bank in one because before the banks can advance loans, they need your financial statement. You have to go to look at your liquidity position. Now for liquidity position, yeah, it will be difficult for the bank to even advance. So all these are indicators, financial indicators. Then we have operating indicators. One, management intention to liquidate the entity or cease operation. One said, now, we don't have anything more. Now, we don't have anything more. We don't have anything more. That's just a growing concern on the PC channel. Two, loss of key management without replacement. Because we have key key staff, we have to get the money, we have to get the money, we have to get the money, because we have to get the money from the salary. Labor difficulties, strike, conflict, we have to get the money from the salary. That industry, we have to get the money from the salary. We have to get the money from the salary. Buta. Nuts. University teachers, we have to get the money. I don't understand that. Tall. Now say yes, say yes for. Is it tall or? Eh, tall. Huh? I'm say I'm 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 subscribe this and then because government tall. I'm say I'm move blue. I'm say they be. I guess some something like that. You mean a shortage of important supplies? We need supply, a money supply, near my money deal, because a car will be going to be dry. So, so we be able to sell the supply, and then the amount. We now a way for selling tissues. 
other indicators, non-compliance with capital or other statutory requirements, pending legal or regulatory proceedings against the entity, uninsured or underinsured catastrophes when they okay. All these things are indicators of good. Adebia, complain, no? It's all you're finding difficult to do. A indicator of way concern. It will comply with some laws, some regulations. It's a way concern issue. Now, audit procedures are on doubt over way concern. You have to take note of this. Audit procedures are on doubt over way concern. So, when the auditor has doubt over the way concern of the organization, the auditor must perform some procedures. One, the auditor must inquire from management the reason why they consider the going concern assumption to be valid. So here what we are saying is that there is no way management will, will tell you that they are having going concern challenges. It, it, it won't do it. And there is a reason why they will not do that. Because if management should tell you that they are having going concern issues, what do you think will happen? You will throw the feather. So management so the company uh, is reading our company and doing it. So we can say, well, how will you feel? How will you feel? <laughs> so staff, staff, the FTA, how will they feel? How will they feel? I do not know what to do. I do not know what to do. I say, staff, tell me about it. I do not know what to do. I do not know what to do. I do not know what and, and there is no way management will tell you that they will have going concern. Even if they, they are going concern, they will not say. But you, the auditor, because of your experience, you know, sir, the management, they are going concern issue. So if you have to find out from management, they should justify why they think. So one of the audit procedures is that the auditor should inquire from management to justify why they think the going concern assumption is valid. Two, the auditor must request for a cash flow forecast. So a cash flow forecast is like a budget. So you must request for that and see whether they are negative cash flows or not. The auditor's order book. So you, you request for the sales order book. You are auditing going concern. So you request for the cash budget. You request for a sales order book. Sales order book contains records of sales and receivable. And when you request for that, you'll be able to know the trend, whether sales has declined, and whether receivables are increasing more and more day, day in and day out then that is also an indication. Five, the auditor must, for the auditor must review aging receivable. So you also have to review aging receivable. So, receivable, five years later, still there be a repeat our, our financial statement to you. That same figure, 30,000, from 2017 to 2020, 2023, in Jerusalem. That's just a, the receivable, they are, they are always growing, they are aging, and no effort are being made to collect. And that is a sign of going concern. The auditor must also consider whether planned capital expenditure by the entity may be insufficient to support the business. So sometimes the organization in their budget area, they want to undertake some restructuring, some capital expenditure to revamp the business, the auditor must check or review whether that amount is even able to help the business sustain its operations. Where a key senior employee has left the entity, the auditor should discuss the possible implication of this with management. If you have a key personnel, top top management, how much has he got? Then the auditor has to discuss that with management. Then the auditor should obtain a letter of presentation from management confirming their opinion that the entity is a win concern. 
So if still management insists that the entity is a is way concern, the auditor should ask for a letter of representation, which yesterday we discussed, management representation letter, confirming that the green concern has not been appropriate. So this is all that we need to know about evaluation and review. Now let's talk about audits of good accounts. 